Are you actually kidding me? Somebody asked me if he was planned, why give him up and not your current daughter? Are you serious? <laughs> and welcome back to another vlog say hi hi so paisley and i are getting dressed right now we're actually gonna go meet up with judah yeah judah and his family uh we're meeting up with his parents in like 20 minutes so stop it you're gonna hurt your eye paisley just got dressed now i just have to get dressed and then we're gonna head out also you know something cool <laughs> judah is 10 months old today i think that's pretty cool you're in my no, no, you were in my tummy. <laughs> no, you were in my tummy. No, you were in my tummy. No. Judah was also in my tummy. No, you were in my tummy. <laughs> okay, so I just want to start out by saying that I have full permission from Judah's parents to post these videos and photos of him on my social media platform. So I just wanted to make that little disclaimer. <laughs> That's you. <Bye. laughs> Did you smile? That's you! Oh, my hair's going in his face. <laughs> That's you! You see? <laughs> no. So today I posted this on my Instagram story, basically just saying I'm doing a Q&A and to ask me questions. You guys are awesome. Look how many questions I got. Well, I he's like, I'll, I know, he's like, yeah, I'll grab it. I'll take it. So somebody asked, when was the last time you saw Judah? Um, I was supposed to see him when he was five months old, but I had COVID, so when they brought him down, I couldn't even get to see him. But um, the last time I saw him was like two weeks ago, and it was when he turned 10 months old. Somebody asked, how has my mindset changed from the start to now? Because when I was processing it, it was like really, really hard for me to like grasp that. After it actually happened, it was really emotional during like the birth and stuff. Um, now I just have a more positive, healthy mindset about it. Do I get to see him often or how often do I get to see him? It's like kind of whenever we plan for it and like his parents are taking time off um, because they live in a different state as us. So we don't get to just like go drive over there and say hi. <laughs> Somebody asked, has Paisley met him? And yes, she has. She's like literally such a proud big sister. It's so cute. I got a lot of questions about do I regret my decision to put him up for adoption and I actually talked about this in another video. I do not regret it at all. I think that everything was like worked out so perfectly and I think it was definitely like the best decision I could have made for him. And I honestly love his family. They're amazing. Am I planning for another baby? No, 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 no. No more babies. Somebody said, do you ever feel guilty for the decision you made? No hate, I love you and pay so much. We love you too. Um, I feel like, hmm, so I don't feel guilty at all for like putting him up for adoption. I do, however, feel guilty for planning the pregnancy, planning to care for him when he was born, and then, I don't know, like choosing another path, but I don't wish that I had kept him. I just like feel guilty for planning it and then like putting him up for adoption, if that makes sense. So, did you ever have any complications with the adoption? No, it was actually so smooth and so much easier than I thought it would be. And everything had went as like I planned for the adoption to go, so that was really nice. Did the biological father have any say in the adoption? No, he did not. Does Paisley ask where her brother is? Um, actually no, she used to ask about him after she first got to see him when he was born. But she doesn't ask about him anymore, so. Was the adoption your first choice when you gave birth? Yes, the adoption was already planned like way before the delivery, so I already knew what was going to happen and how it was going to go. Something you wish you'd done differently. Huh, I have to like think about this one for a little bit, I don't know. Yes, actually, I wish that I had taken my prenatal vitamins more often because I was really bad about that with his pregnancy. Somebody asked, what was the hardest part of giving him up? The hardest part was that the delivery room was set up exactly how Paisley's was, and it was really hard for like my mama brain to process like oh he's being handed off now even though i already knew that and i had told myself that i was like i guess my my heart or something i don't know was like expecting to hold him 
and then he was like handed off so my body was just like freaking out was charles the biological father no so charles is not um it was some other stupid dude and then somebody asked if the biological father has reached out to you or his parents no he has not not that i know of um he hasn't reached out to me because i blocked him on everything but i don't know if he's reached out to the parents or if he even like knows who they are also his bio dad is like fully convinced that i cheated on him with charles so he thinks that it's like charles's baby and it's not charles's baby do you have any plans to see him soon yes so i actually get to go see him on his birthday so i'm excited for that how's your daughter doing thank you for asking she's actually doing really good she's sleeping right now because it's like almost 10 o'clock <laughs> how do you go about talking to paisley about judah does she ever ask about him so i think i already said this but um she doesn't ask about him necessarily um but if i bring him up she'll just kind of be like oh judah i don't know if she's a kid so she doesn't really care that much <laughs> does paisley have an idea of what happened p.s i love you so much i love you too girl paisley knows that he was put up for adoption i don't know if she actually like understands that probably not she knows that he was in my tummy and I've explained that I'm his birth mom, but he has a different mom and dad that's like his mom and dad. That's not. You know what I mean? What's your biggest worry for the future regarding Judah and the adoption? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe Judah just like, I don't know. I'm afraid he might get like picked on at school. Um, Just because like, I don't know, some kids are really mean. Would you ever be able to take him back if you wanted to? Um, no, I wouldn't. The adoption has been, like, completely set in stone, so he is theirs to keep. And also, just to make it clear, I would not want to take him back. I'm really happy with the decision I made, and he is doing literally so well over there with them. And he's so happy, and they're so happy, which makes me really happy, so. A lot of people were asking if I miss Judah. Um, I, I do. I'm kind of, like here doing my own thing and they're over there doing their own thing and parenting and working is really like kind of difficult to juggle so i'm not really just like oh i i want to see judah i miss him so much it's just kind of like i get excited for the next time i get to go see him but i'm not like missing him like crazy when he's older in the future will you introduce yourself to him as your birth mother so yeah actually um his mom sarah decided to nickname me mama pam for him so i thought that was really sweet because she wants him to know that i'm his birth mom that he grew up in my tummy for the first nine months and i just i just think that's really sweet and also when he was born they gave me a book that talked about i think it talked about i think it was like an adoption book but they had me like read it and then like record my voice so that when he was born he could have like my voice there and like listen to the book and it was literally so sweet anyway those are mostly all of the questions i got some of them were like repeated so um i hope i did a good job of like answering all of them if if you asked a question and i didn't get to it please leave it down below so i can actually answer you or like just dm me because i'll answer quicker thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye what did you just call me <laughs> all right <laughs> Hello everybody. And then I'm gonna upload the video tomorrow at 8 a.m. I don't know why I'm just saying that. Right now. Oh my gosh. This one person literally asked like 20 questions. Yeah. And P.S. I love you so much. I love you so much too, girl. I cannot believe my camera didn't die the whole time. When is this gonna come off the tripod? Okay. Okay, bye.